it's going to be a car. Every duck we had left. And here we are. With renewed hope that maybe something new showed up. right there. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Top of the morning to you. We had seven instead of seventeen. I say roll them up, buddy. Unless you see that blonde one. If you see that blonde one. Let's kill her. Uh oh. What is that? Shovel. Look like one.
fighting. I don't know that I can tell you. A year ago, we were hunting right here. Mark was standing for this tree. Two uh, years. Two years. Yeah. And uh, we were just getting ready to leave. We just shot our last bird. He got a phone call. His grandfather died of COVID in November and his dad got the COVID at that funeral or somewhere about. And uh, we were standing at this tree whenever we got the call that his dad went from this world to the next. And I ain't saying he ain't in a better place. But the more you love, God, the more you miss him. Martin loves his dad. And now Martin's a dad again for the first time ever. And there's two boys that aren't going to get to know him the way that I got to know him. I can honestly tell you I'm the only person who snuck tobacco into the hospital for Jerry Martin. That's true stuff. <sighs> he, wouldn't, he wouldn't dip it because he was too afraid the nurses would catch him and get mad at him. But he said it was a comfort just having it next to him. <laughs> Freshened up. Come on, let's play. Don't go nowhere. Ooh. God, Jacob's dad got shot at this year. God, my dad's sitting over there. And <laughs> he's not getting a day younger. But funny thing about this life we live, I know that it's not the age that takes you home. When it's your time, it's your time. And I don't understand, Lord. My Martin's grandfather got to live to a ripe old age and his dad didn't. But I know this, you understand the mysteries of life that I, I can't even fathom. You created worlds and universes and galaxies that we still haven't yet discovered. You are God and we are not. And as a man, I get in the way of that a lot because I want to solve it and I want to fix it. And I knew when Martin got that call that day that I couldn't fix it. All I could do was be there. And God, you sent your spirit to comfort. Your spirit's the comforter, and we know that. And so I just ask right now that you would continue to send that spirit to comfort him and his family as they continue. Two years later, we can at least celebrate now. But Lord, continue to comfort them. Continue to teach them how to share his memory in positive ways to those boys. And Lord, you know I'm struggling with anger. Whew, you know it. You know it better than anybody here. So I confess it to you in front of all of them. And I just ask that you would send that spirit, to, Lord, to sanctify my life so that I can um, be a better person, a better man to further your kingdom and not my own. Lord, we pray all this in your son's name, Jesus. Amen. 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 from every year. Dogs love the barn. I figured we'd be bringing him out when them hospital beds, you know. Just bringing him out there, sitting him in the back just so he could hear his sheep. That's what I think.
days in a row without firing our shotgun last year. Hmm. That was the first. I said, Phil, what about it? You want to take a day off? He said, it's duck season. <laughs> we go. Wow. Yeah, I got one of them. I don't ever recall him doing that. Oh. If he got up, he's gonna go hunting. He must be feeling really bad. Well. <laughs> he'd look up. <laughs> Wipe his mouth off, he'd look up again. Make sure one of them ducks coming. Yeah, wasn't much happening today. Usually when you see them till though, the next day the big duck show up. But the only thing that showed up was the big geese. We just seen them flying over and over and over head inside. But you know what? There's always tomorrow.